Hey guys, you know who this is. It's your boy, the California Kid. I hope you're doing well. How you doing out there, guys? Do me a favor, I always love to know where it is that uh, you are in the world. So do me a favor, just maybe, you know, type in where it is, what country, what city, type in what, co what country, what city that uh, you're actually beaming in from and let me know where you are. Hey guys, it's me, the California Kid. I definitely got a special message that I think that uh, it'll, it'll serve many of you guys here today. So if you're in a position where you can maybe stop what you're doing and tune in, I think this will be a really, really good word for you. If you're busy or occupied, no big deal. Just put a reminder in your phone to revisit this Facebook Live at a later time, but you definitely want to watch this. I really believe uh, you're going to be abundantly blessed from it. Also, I want you to know that once this Facebook Live is done, I'm going to have my assistant upload this to my YouTube channel for all of you that are different parts in the world, different time zone, so that everyone gets a chance to possibly hear this message. I really believe it's something that uh, kind of was just downloaded to me uh, about 15 minutes ago, and I said, oh, I better, I better listen, I better listen, and I better do what I'm instructed to do. So, hey, listen, it's me, the California KID. You know, when the last time you seen a 41 year old kid, with gray hair? Hello, he's right here. <laughs> anyway, hey, listen, guys, uh, if you're saying hi to me or if you're typing things in in the chat, uh, if, if you are, I can't see you right now. I've got the phone just kind of focused on me. So I'm sorry I can't interact with you to say your name and say all that stuff. But you know, I got major love for you. You know that, right? Whoever you are, wherever you are, you always need to know I have major love for you. And all that you do, there's nobody in the entire world any greater than you. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. Anyway, listen, I wanted to come on here today and I wanted to take about a good 30 minutes. Um, some of y'all know I can go long. When, when, when the spirit hits me, I just boom, I just erupt, but you know. Uh, about 30 minutes here. I want to talk to you about a topic that is a big deal. It's a big deal. It's not a little deal. This is a big deal. And the topic is, guys, it's about playing big. Playing big. I'm going to do my very best right now to really, really uh, just be on point right now and deliver a message for you that I believe will serve you abundantly well. As I said a moment ago, if you're able to pay attention I recommend that you should. If you can't pay full attention, uh, I, I maybe come back and look at this video later. As you notice, my background is pretty boring. I, I didn't want a bunch of exciting moving parts. I wanted you to pay attention to the words, not necessarily the message. I mean, the messenger. Pay attention to the message, not the messenger. Okay, so I deliberately have a boring, still focused background so that you can pay attention. Okay, all right. I want to talk to you about playing big and um, really what that really means. You know, I'm 41. I don't know how old you are, how young you are. It really doesn't matter. The thing I want you to understand is that we only get one chance to do this dance, baby. We, we get one chance to do this dance. I'm using the word dance as a metaphor of life. You only get one time to go around. You know, I've, I've tried to negotiate with God several times. Hey, man, can I come back as, and maybe instead of Ramasio, can I come back as Roman or something? Can I come back as a different person? And God has told me, no, my son, you get one chance to do. I want you to keep that in mind that you only get one chance to do this dance. Now, matter of fact, if you're taking notes, just write that down because you have to you have to keep that at the forefront of your mind. We're getting ready to talk about playing big. That's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about playing big. But you have to understand you only get one chance to do this thing called life. You don't get a second time. You don't. I personally believe the greatest gifts that God has ever given all of us is, number one, the gift of time. The gift of time, number one, and number two, the gift of choice. Me personally, I believe those are the two greatest gifts from God, time and choice. Woo, that's profound. Uh, 
like sometimes I get excited when I say something that's just profound. It just turns me on, fires me up. But anyway, back on point. So with that, with that, with that understanding in mind that you only get one chance to do this dance, if that's the case, doesn't it make sense to go all out? To give it everything you've got. I mean, if you're being a single mom, give it everything you've got to that child. If you're, if you, if you, if you're, you know, if you, whatever it is you're doing, if you're working a job, if you're, if you're in love, or what, whatever it is you do, if you, if you're, if you love going to church, if you, if you love singing, if you love, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is you're doing, if you're an athlete, you're a business person, whatever it is you're doing, listen, listen, play big, stop playing small. When God created you, there were no mistakes, okay? There were no mistakes. Look at me. I haven't shaved today. I've got, look at this thumb. Have you ever seen my, you see my special thumb? Look at this. Okay, I don't know if you can zoom in. I don't know if you can see this, but this thumb here is, is, is pretty normal looking, right? This thumb, you see that thumb? Pretty normal, right? This thumb here, look closely, look closely. They're different. This thumb here looks a little different. Why? When I was a young kid, I, I was playing with firecrackers and I, you know, I, you know, you know, just kid stuff. And I ended up almost blowing up my finger. And this is what it looks like. And so what I'm, I'm showing you the difference between my thumbs, because a long time ago, I used to think something was wrong with me. How come I can't have both of my thumbs that look like this? And why is my nose so big? You know, now, you know, I, I've even considered maybe I should do a Michael Jackson. Maybe I should privately call and find out how much would you charge me for a nose surgery? You know, kind of bring it in just a little bit, you know. What I'm saying to you, I understand the thought process of thinking that something is weird or wrong, or maybe you got all these imperfections and uh, maybe you got a chip in your tooth or maybe whatever your thing is. My thing is I used to want to be six foot six. I really did. I used to want to be six foot six, bald headed. And I wanted my name to be Michael. Sound familiar? That's not how, that's not the gift God gave me. What I'm saying to you is God did not make any mistakes. He did not make any mistakes. As a matter of fact, I think it kind of frustrates God a little bit when you start thinking that you were a mistake or maybe something is wrong with you. No, 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 no. Listen, everything that's happening to you in life, it's happening for your good. And I know that some of you have a hard time digesting that. Hopefully you'll understand that later. Everything from the divorce, the relationship, the illnesses, the being broke, even being broken for some of you. It, it, it's, it's happening for your good. That has to happen because that's a part of the process for you to mature and for you to develop. Oh, it's sounding good out here today. Okay. Now, with all that being said, I want you to understand that this topic of playing big, it relates to everything in your life. Play big. You don't serve you. You don't serve your family. You don't serve your community. You don't serve your children. You don't serve any one of us when you decide to play small. I'm going to pause for a second as I take a sip of my kombucha. <laughs> mm, mm. One more time. I'm talking to you. Yes, you. You don't serve anyone when you decide to play small. I want you to think about it. God gave his only begotten son for all of us. He gave. So that means love is an action word. It's about giving. He gave something. Do you understand how courageous you have to be to give up your only child for others? So what I'm saying is in all of us, God has hidden some courage in you. There's some courage in you. And it takes courage for you to step up, mature up, and play big in whatever you're doing. I'm getting ready to break down what I mean by playing big in a moment. But I first of all want to get your attention to get you to understand you're not serving anyone by playing small. Let me give you some examples of playing small. Playing small is when you're always trying to fit in. You weren't designed to fit in with everybody. 
Um, playing small is when you're always worried about what other people have to think or say about you. That's playing small. Playing small is when you're trying to make everybody all around the world happy. That's playing small. Playing small is when you know you can do better, but you continue to accept less and less and less and less. You know in your heart of hearts you're worth more, but you continue to keep accepting less and less and less. That's playing small. Playing small is when you know you're trying to stay in a safe and secure situation because you're afraid of jumping into the unknown. That's also playing small. It's playing it safe. I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage all of you to develop some internal muscles. Notice I didn't say no steroid type muscles. I said develop some internal strength, some internal courage, some internal muscle to step up and step out to play big. When you decide to play big, you can't see the end from the beginning. One more time. When you decide to play big, you cannot see the end from the beginning. You can't see it. You just know that there's this burning desire inside of you to, to bring this energy to the world to do something that's incredible or to do something beyond the norm. And it's just burning in you. And it, and it never leaves you. Everywhere you go, in the bathroom and upstairs and downstairs and when you go to work and you go to church and go to the park, it just, it just lingers inside of you. And that's how you know it's something that you are supposed to do. And matter of fact, when others, it, 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 sometimes when you see other people doing something or playing big, it, 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 sometimes it brings tears to your eyes and it, it, and it excites you and you get, uh, you just get fired up. You know why you get fired up? Because you're watching others do what it is you're meant to do. You're watching other people live the way that you're meant to live. And it pulls at you. And you're sitting there thinking, but I don't know how. And I don't know what to do. And I don't have any money. And there you go. There you go. Trying to see the end from the beginning. It doesn't work that way, my friends. It doesn't work that way. See, if God gave you everything, then there would be no need for God. If God gave you everything, there would be no need for faith. There would be no need for courage. There would be no need for process and procedures. There would be no need. And so playing big, guys, it starts with accepting you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are the problem of your life. And you, my friend, are the answer of your life. And that applies to you, it applies to me, it applies to everyone. You are the problem and you are the solution. You know, I'm reminded by a great uh, word that I've heard from my parents many, many, many times over. They said, all that man is and all that man ever will be, he has to discover for himself. Man, pause, cut, rewind that one more time. All that man is and all that man, and this includes woman, all that man is and all that man ever will be, mm, he has to discover for himself. What does that mean? That means it doesn't matter how beautiful you tell me, how, how, it doesn't matter you telling me I'm handsome, I'm handsome. If I don't look in the mirror and believe for myself that I'm handsome, then it doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter if you tell me I can do it, I can do it, I can do all things. But if I don't start to believe in my own possibilities, in my own capabilities, then it doesn't matter what you say. Everything that I am and everything that I ever will be, I have to discover for myself. And today I want to encourage you, I want to encourage you, I want to encourage you to really begin to understand that you were created to play big. You were created to play big. There, there was nothing, you weren't designed to play small. You don't really help anybody when you play small. Let me give you another act of playing big. I dare you, whoever you are, wherever you are today in the world, 
The next person you see, I dare you to say, hello, hey, how are you? Have a good day today. I dare you just to be the first person to speak to someone. If it's in the elevator, if it's at work, wherever you are. Hey, how you doing? I See, that's, that's a sign of playing big because you're initiating something. You're not waiting for it to happen to you. You're initiating. But again, it takes courage to go and initiate. Okay? That's an example of playing big. So let's, in the interest of time, I'm hoping that you guys are picking up what I'm putting down. I really do. Okay? Playing big, it means accepting that you are more than enough, even if you're broke. Let me give you an example. Do you know every, every product or service created in this entire world? For example, you know, I, I, look at this concrete here. Look at this, 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 this bottle here. Look at this chair here. Look at these shoes, this hat, these earplugs, okay? Look at everything. Look at everything. It was all created by an entrepreneur. Every product, every single service was all created by someone that had the courage to step up, step out, and play big. Wow, now that's heavy. I want you to think about that. Every thing that you get a chance to enjoy, when you go home and you sit in your favorite chair and you put your feet up and you brush your teeth with your favorite toothpaste, comb your hair, look in the beautiful mirror, every single thing that you get a chance to enjoy, everything was created by somebody who decided to play big. Somebody who decided to play big. My question, and I want somebody to type this in. I want somebody to type this in on the chat box. My question, I'm 41. My question to you, when are you going to stop watching everyone else do their thing and begin to do your thing? That's my question. When are you going to stop watching everyone else do their thing? It's for, I'm 41 years old. What is it? It's, it's one, a little after 1 o'clock Pacific Standard Time today. I'm sitting here. I'm doing my thing. Right? When are you going to accept the call and begin to do your thing? That is a multi-million dollar question. The richest place in the world is the graveyard. Because in the graveyard, there are dreams, there are ambitions that never had the chance to flourish. Because they kept saying, I've got a little more time. No, you don't. Time is a commodity. It's the only thing you don't get back. So that's why the first thing I said on this live here, the first thing we talked about was we talked about you understanding the value of time because you don't get a second chance to do this dance. You only get one, one opportunity. And if you only get one chance, doesn't it make sense to go all out? Doesn't it make sense? to give it everything you can, whatever it is you're doing, to give it your all. Wake up tomorrow and give it your all again. Wake up next week and give it your all again. Doesn't that make sense? You only get one chance to do this dance. You don't want to live a life of regret. Well, man, I wish I could have, man. I should have, but I never did. Don't do that. Listen to me. 98% of all entrepreneurs, we all started broke, including me. We all started broke. We all wondered how, and God help me, how am I going to do this? We all wondered that. But when you begin to accept the call that it is you that's supposed to do that thing, 
You are the one that was supposed to make the bottle. You are the one that's supposed to print the label and create the top and do all this and create the shorts. You, you were created to, you, you were designed, you were created to create and not destroy. You are the one. You, I know you don't know everything. Neither do I. I know you don't have all the money. Neither did I. But that's no excuse for not starting. That's no excuse for not starting. Do you understand there are people watching me right now that are probably saying, I can't believe he's doing a Facebook Live and uh, he didn't shave today. I'm sure there's somebody that's thinking, you know, I like him better when he shaves. You know, he looks more handsomer. I think I look good when I don't shave and when I do. So my point is I really don't care what they think. You have to learn to divorce yourself from what everyone is going to think about you. Because as long as you keep worrying about what they're thinking, you will never fly. Because you're trying to always get the approval of other people. The most important approval should be your approval. Do you approve? Listen, when you're an entrepreneur and you decide to play big, you're always going to be misunderstood by most people. Woo, write that down. When you become an entrepreneur and you decide to play big, you're always going to be misunderstood by most people. Do you know most people will probably sit there and think, oh, he loves to talk because he's always looking for more followers. Do you understand? I love the fact that Mark Zuckerberg created Facebook. It did solve a big problem. But I also want you to understand. I want you to understand. I don't do these videos for more followers. Trust me. I've accepted what God has given me. I've accepted what I'm supposed to do. And as long as I continue to walk in alignment with what I'm supposed to do, I don't have to worry about followers. There's millions and millions of people that can't wait to subscribe to follow me. They can't wait to hear what it is I have to say. They can't wait to see the, the results and, and the things that I do. I'm never worried about followers. Okay, I know. When you're worried about followers, then that means you can't be authentic in your message. Because when you're really trying to help people, every message that you have to say, not everybody wants to hear. Every message that you are created to say, not everybody wants to hear. Okay? So I'm giving you, once again, another example of playing big. Play big. Play big. Period. Okay? Now, let's talk about, for those of you that are involved in direct sales and network marketing, going to go for about another 10, 15 minutes. We're going to wrap up here. And let's talk about playing big in your field. You know, most of us, when we get started in network marketing, we start on a part-time basis. Why do we start? Because just like everyone else, we want more in our lives. We want more money. We want more time freedom. We want more choices. We want more in our lives, okay? And so uh, that's where I started. I started 11 years ago, part-time, and I just wanted more right and so the way that if that's you that's where most people start and so how do you play big from the very beginning if you've been involved in network marketing and you've been doing it the wrong way draw a line in the sand and listen to me right now and start doing it the right way the first thing you need to do the first thing you need to do in terms of playing big you need to make a decision that if you're going to get involved in network marketing on a part-time or full-time basis, make a decision to get to the top. Doesn't matter how long it takes, but make a decision. If you're going to do it, do it all the way or don't do it at all. Now, when I say do it all the way, that means if, you only, if you're doing it on a part-time basis, really do it. Don't be a dabbler. We've got, we've got tens of millions of people that dabble. They dabble in this. They dabble in that. And they dabble, and they dabble, and they dabble. And they dabble, and they dabble. Listen, you're never going to become a professional. You're never going to become, you're never going to create anything uh, worth having, anything that's going to last if you just dabble. You can't be a dabbler. Don't be a dabbler. Be the person that says, you know, if I'm going to do this thing, if I'm going to do it, they're going to know I was here. 
They gonna know. By the time I'm done, they gonna know I was here. They gonna know. Make your presence felt. Play big. Regardless of what your personality is, it number one, if you're going to do network marketing, direct sales, affiliate marketing, all these fancy words today, call it whatever you want to call it, if you're going to do it, make the mental decision at the very beginning that you go into the top. Now, if you've been involved for a long time or a short time and you didn't do that, draw a line in the sand today and make a new decision. You know, he's right. He's right. I'm going to the top of this thing. Guys, I know white people, black people, Asian, young, old, fat, skinny, uh, you know, non-Christians, people, Buddhists, people. I, I, I got so many friends in this industry that literally are doing it and playing big. You have no excuse. There's no excuse. Network marketing is about sharing information with other people. That's all it's about. That's all it's about. Sharing information about your product, your service, and or your opportunity. That's it. And when you share the information, some people are going to say yes. Some people are going to say no, and some people are going to have some questions. It's just like church. No, I don't want to go. I don't want to know Jesus. I don't want to know God. Okay, fine. You know, I'm curious. I do want to know a little bit more about God. Can you tell me a little bit more? Or, yes, I'd love to go. Absolutely, I would love to learn. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. All network marketing is we make money for sharing information. And typically, if you are horrible, if you are the worst of the worst at network marketing, one out of every 20 people that you share it with, the information, they're going to say yes. One out of 20. So if you're horrible, I mean, you're the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst. You're beyond bad, right? One out of 20. And if you're bad, one out of 10. Every 10 people one of will at least say yes. So my whole point is, this is why I love network marketing. I love it. Free enterprise. It's the smartest business in the entire world. It's, more, it's, the most efficient in the, it's the most efficient business in the entire world. I didn't say the only business. I said the most efficient. Efficient. And literally, you can make a little bit. You can make part-time money. You can make a bloody fortune in network marketing. Okay? But number one is decide... To play big decide to play big make the I, I don't care how long it takes don't worry about how long it's gonna take just make the decision I'm going to the top I learned this from a good friend of mine he said this to me he said listen I may not beat you there listen somebody type this in I may not beat you there but I promise so help me God I will meet you there Woo! That gets me fired up, guys. That gets me so fired up. I may not beat you there, but I promise I will meet you at the top. You know why? Because with persistence and hard work and determination, you just won't stop until you accomplish your goal, until you fulfill your purpose. So I want to encourage you today. Number one, make the decision to play big and go to the top. Would you do that for me today? I don't care if it darn what company you in. That don't matter to me. Matter of fact, if you gonna make, the, if you really mean it, now don't type in. Don't you dare type in on my Facebook page here. If you really not serious about going to the top, I don't care how long it's gonna take. Some of you'll do it fast. Some of you'll do it slow. That don't matter to me. I just want you to do it, like Nike, baby, do it. But if you are going to the top of your company, I want you to write, "I am going to the top." I want you to write that when you see this Facebook Live, okay? The second thing, I'm going to help you play big. Get yourself a mentor. You need a mentor. Mentorship is wisdom without waiting for it. Listen, if you're going to play big, why not learn from people that's already where you want to be, right? People that's already doing what it is that you want to do. Doesn't that make most sense, okay? So number two is get yourself a mentor. Now, I'm going to do another training, another day, not today, about mentorship. There's a big difference between coaching and mentoring. There is a gigantic difference between those two things, okay? Now, really quickly, how do you get a mentor? I know some of you are you, you, like, I, how do I find a mentor? Really simple. Number one, you can go online, 
okay? You can go online, use the internet, use social media. And all you do is this. You're looking for two things in a mentor. Number one, you're looking for someone that has good character. Now, how do I define character? How do you, I don't even know you. How do I know if you got good character? Let me explain. You're looking for someone that if they were to, if they were to mentor you, they would never ask you to do anything illegal, immoral, or unethical. Okay? That's the first thing you're looking for in a mentor. Are they asking me to do anything that is illegal, immoral, and unethical? Because I will not do it, but nobody. Okay? That's the first thing you're looking for. The second thing you're looking for in a mentor, male or female, you're looking for someone that produces. You're looking for production. Not someone that talks a good game. Look at their results. This is a results-based business. You do want results, right? So you want to look at their results. That's very important. Okay? Now, once you, once, you, once you find those two things, then you want to send them a private message or, you know, or contact them or, you know, get a hold of them. Just, just be persistent. Be persistent. And here's what you say. What would I have to do, ma'am or sir, to make it worth your while for you to coach and mentor me? You ask them one question. Ma'am, sir, what would I have to do to make it worth your while to coach and mentor me? Question mark. And whatever answer they give you, you do it. Whatever answer they give you, you do it. Remember, you want what they have. It's not the other way around. You want what they got. Okay? So you got to pursue the mentorship. Okay? So number two is find a mentor. I just told you that. Okay? Now, number three, you got to have some goals. You got, I, 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 I personally will never, ever, ever coach anyone that does not have goals. Do you know some people are afraid to set a goal because they're afraid of, if I don't hit it, then I don't want to be disappointed. That's no, nope, that's an excuse. If you don't hit it, most entrepreneurs, do you know 99% of the time, most entrepreneurs, we never hit our goals? 99% of the time, we never hit our goals. And you know what we do? We just set a new goal and we set a new goal and we set a new goal because it's not about a short-term race, it's a marathon. We're going to keep going until we get that thing. We're going to keep going, baby. We won't stop. Okay? That's how I know I'm a winner. And I know that if you say you're a winner, I believe you. Because it just means you won't stop. I love people who just won't stop. Godly. There she goes again. There he goes again. There he goes. He just won't stop. It's called persistence, baby. Persistence is one of the attributes of a winner. Period. Not just black winners, white winners, Asian winners, female winners. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. Persistence. Okay? So, number three, you've got to set goals. If you want to work with me, first thing I'm going to ask you, first thing, not your name, <laughs> first thing I'm going to ask you, what's your goal? What's your goal? I'm going to say it. I'm going to say this. I don't care who you are. First thing I'm going to say, let me ask you a question. How much money do you want to make the very first 30 to 90 days? That's what I'm going to ask you. That's how you play big. Well, uh, what is about? Listen, this is a business. You need the money so you can change your life and other people's lives. And you can give to the poor. You need the money. Okay? So I'm going to ask you, <laughs> what is your goal? Okay? You got to have a goal. You got to have a goal. Okay? That's number three. You got to have a goal. Now, really quickly, uh, with all this talking that I've done, the last three minutes I want to spend on, I've been telling you about playing big. And as you guys that know me and some that don't know me, I will never tell you to do anything that I'm not doing. I will never tell you to do something that I'm not doing. That's not good leadership, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm 41 years young. And literally, I'm less than 10 days from launching the biggest thing I've ever had a chance to do in 11 years. It's called Onyx Lifestyle. Uh, long story short, it's a digital platform that gives you a private membership and we give you access to VIP services, services that are normally offered to the wealthy, private banking services, discounted off-sheet 
uh, offsheet pricing for travel where you can make money uh, on your travel and others and you can save up to 65% on your own personal travel okay then we have personal concierge services okay then we also have our making money services which is, provides you a passive income every month without without uh, without selling anything so these are it's a, it's a, it's a platform that we've created that is designed to enhance every area of your life Everyone I know, everyone I know, they all want a better lifestyle. We all do. The reason why you go to work and the reason why you do this is so that you can have a better lifestyle. What we've done is we're offering the entire world a digital-based platform with a private membership that gives you a better lifestyle. Now that gets me excited. As I've told you, and I've told you, and I've told you, we launch uh, June the 6th through the 9th in Dubai globally, okay? Okay. Uh, no one in the entire world that I know of is doing what we're do, doing what we do. It's very exciting. We've got a lot of money behind this. We've got a lot of experience behind this, and it's just awesome. And we are getting ready right now on our team. Okay, I'm a distributor. On our team, we will have 50,000 people the first month. Playing big is what I'm talking about. Playing big. 50,000 paid members the very first month. I have been charged with the responsibility to change the way network marketing has been done. Now that's big. I have been charged with the responsibility to change the landscape of what's possible in this profession. No one in the history of the entire profession would dare even say, let alone deliver, 50,000 people their very first month in a company that's never been done before I'm doing that so that you all of you out there can now see instead of just hearing you can see the possibilities for your life if you decide to step up step out and play big stop playing small playing small does not serve anyone I want to encourage you to step up and play big you are a winner last thing I'll tell you is this I said it at the beginning and I'm gonna say it one more time and all that you do don't ever forget that there is nobody in the entire world in the entire world any greater than you there's nobody I don't care how bad your past is I don't care about your flaws I don't care about your mama and your daddy and what happened to you 50 years ago None of that matters. All of that's a part of the good stuff that happened for you. Decide right now to make a decision to play big in your life. It'll be the best decision you've ever made in your life. I never said it would be easy, but it's certainly necessary because time is running out. As the elders, as, as the older people would say, counting time is not as important as making your time count. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the California Kid. I love you from the bottom of my soul. There's nothing you can do about it. Play big. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.